today i'm going to be teaching you variable and it k maps or vem k maps now the question is that what are vem k maps vem k maps are basically k maps but then they are a much more simplified version of k maps now how are they simplified okay so um let's just say we have a four variable, variable k map where the variables are a b c and d okay now that the, now that we have those variables a variable and k map will have four or less than actually always it will have always less than four variables right yeah so that is how we um, this makes the um, simplification and getting out the switching equations much simpler than uh, and that and an ordinary k map would okay when um, k maps become uh, you know of five variables or of six variables this comes in handy and this is a very useful technique okay yeah so let's go ahead and um, let's analyze the question over here the question over here is f equals sigma 0 3 4 8 9 12 13 and 15 okay the corresponding truth uh, table for the above function is this okay this is this and the corresponding k map would be this over here i've mapped all the ones and all the zeros according to the, according to the truth table and i've gotten a switching equation there are there is one quote over here there is another quote over here there is a dual here and there is a single over here and correspondingly this is what the this is the switching equation that you get all right now let's figure out how to make a variable and a k map using this truth table and using this function okay so in the variable and a k map the the output is always in terms of d as in it can either be d dash d 0 and 1 uh, you'll understand what i'm saying as we progress forward into the video so for a and b and c c a and b are c are constant for the first two values that is 0 and 1 right a b c equal to 0 and if we allow uh, if we um, analyze what is the output for a and b and c equal to 0 corresponding to d okay so what we see is when d is 0 the output is 1 and when d is 1 the output is 0 that means the output is opposite of what d is therefore the output will be d dash okay for and now we check what is the output in terms of d when a equal to 0 b equal to 0 and c equal to 1 all right so we see that when uh, d equal to 0 output is 0 when d equal to 1 output is 1 so output basically is what d is therefore d similarly this becomes d dash now in this case the output is zero or regardless of what d is then th that uh, therefore the output is zero in this case the in this case the output is one regardless of what d is therefore the output is one zero one and d okay So now we've gotten the output in terms of d. That is d d d dash zeros and ones. Okay. Now we plot the map for this. Okay. So let's go ahead and make a grid. And change the color. Okay. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the reduced K map or the variable and K map will have only three variables. That is A, B, and C. Therefore, we may make a table corresponding to A, B, and C. Right? The variables are A, B, and C. The corresponding gray code is zero, 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 one, 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 and one, zero, zero, and one. All right. Uh, now, the values are D dash D, D dash zero, one, zero, one, D. Write them here. D dash D. D dash zero one zero one D. Let me just check once again. Yeah. Okay. Now these are the corresponding values when A B C equal to zero zero zero, A B C equal to zero zero one, A B C equal to zero one zero, zero one one, one zero zero, one zero one, um zero one one and one one one. All right. Corresponding, we will plot them in the K map. So d dash d zero 
d dash 1 0 d 1 okay now what we do is we we begin looping the variables in any k map what how we obtain the string switching equations is we loop the similar we have uh, we loop ones or we loop zeros if we want correspondingly if we want um, sop or pos as in the switching equation right so what how do we loop in um, vems all right there are certain rules for that the rules are almost the same as they are for um, uh, an ordinary game huh? but but then let me just go ahead and uh, tell them to you all right so the first rule is the same as an ordinary k map that is the octets are prioritized the first then the quads then duals as in you first when you're looping you you give priority to oct octets then quads and then duals all right the second rule is that what can you loop meaning what pairs of variables can you loop okay you can loop these and these you can loop ones and these or d dashes you can loop d dashes and d dashes you can also loop ones and ones okay third rule is what you can't loop so you cannot loop zeros with anything okay i've already encircled this you cannot loop zeros with anything you can also not loop d's and d dashes you cannot loop these two things all right now let's begin looping let me just change the color so it does not become confusing later on right so i see a quad over here see you can kind of you can loop d dashes and ones right i see a quad here and i loop them you can loop you can loop d's and ones you cannot loop d dashes and d's and you cannot loop d's with zeros and you cannot loop anything with zeros there is a single d over here okay all right now let's write the corresponding equation for this so let me just rub all of this you can make note of this uh, you can pause the video right now and make note of this if you want to because i'm going to rub this in a little space give me a second okay now let's make the switching equation okay for this single the equation is a dash b dash c and what is contained in this loop d so we put d over here okay the switching equation for this dual is a b and what is in this loop d so d the equation for this quad is c dash and what is in this uh, quad d dash so d dash if you compare this equation to the equation we obtained in the ordinary k map you will find that the term in this so did we actually make a mistake did we do something wrong is this is this method faulty well none of the above we actually yeah second of the above we did make a mistake this is not the complete procedure to solve uh, vem okay you have to be extremely careful whenever you are looping one with either d or d dash be careful okay now what is uh, why should we be careful so in here we've got two combination where where we have a combination of one with other d's and d dashes this quad over here and this dual over here okay so both of these things we have a combination of um, d's and d dashes all right so i'll tell you how to obtain the correct k map now what we basically do is we make smaller maps like this we map t over here 0 and 1 now the value is 1 irrespective of what d is right so 1 and 1 in this case in this case d when d is 
and d is one. Sorry, one. Let me just write it here. So one more point. Let me. Okay. So the value is d dash. That is, it is opposite to what d is. So d is zero here, so it will be one, and this will be zero. Okay. For this case, in this case, it will be. Let me just write it down here. Okay. For d dash, let me just write it down here. D, zero, one. It's d dash. So one and zero. For this case, it's one. For regardless of what d is. Okay. Right. Now consider those values in these little maps where um, d is zero. We find there is a there always there is always a one there. Right. We observe that whenever d is zero, there is a one. Okay. So d is zero. This can be written as d dash. Okay. Now when is d zero in this quad? Right now, what is the equation of this quad? C dash. Okay. So we found four ones over here, and we looped them. All right. And we get, and we got this term. All right. Now, notice this: that these ones have been left. They have not been looped even once. So basically, we are missing out. We are missing out on a term. The equation that we got that involved only three terms. That we that means we were missing out on one term. Okay. Now notice this: that these ones have been looped unnoticed. Mind you, these are the ones belonging to this and this. Okay. These ones have been left unnoticed. If you mention that we had gotten. Contain only three terms. That means we were missing out on the terms. Why we were missing out on the term? Because we were not looping these ones. These ones have not, had not even been looped once. The basic, most fundamental co concept when you're looping ones in K-maps is that you have to loop every one in the K-map at least once. Okay, and these ones had been left unlooped. Okay. So, look at this. Look at these two boxes over here. D is one. Regardless of sorry, uh, the output is one. Regardless of what D is, right? Into something. Maps correspond to uh, correspond to these two terms. That means this dual. What is the equation of the dual? It is a c dash. Okay. Therefore, the correct expression for the quad is c dash d plus a c dash. And if you remember, if you remember earlier, the equation of this single and that dual down there was. A dash, B dash, C D, and A B D. Okay, so this is how you solve a variable under K map, and this is what a variable under K map is. If you now you would ask that um, I previously told you that you had to, you had to be very careful when you're looping a d and a one or a d dash and a one. In this dual, I've not considered, I've not been careful as, and I've not checked if I'm missing any one. Well, I do not need to check. Because by intuition, I had known that there would be no one unlooped if you made a box, a small a small map of these two variables, right? Now that I leave to you as an exercise. Check if you find any unlooped ones, and yeah, thanks, thanks so much, guys.